everybody and welcome back to another episode here from Empire's SMP. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good. Welcome back to Mithlin here in our beautiful Empire. We built this secret cave base in the last episode and nobody on the server knows anything about it. They have no idea where it's at. They have no idea I built it. We are perfectly safe in this area in case anybody tries to come for our heads, especially for all those assassination attempts. We have a demon on the server who's technically my friend, but technically other people don't know he's my friend. And also, let me know in the comments all my Mithlin spies. What's happening in all the other empires? Let me know. Is there any secrets going on? Is there any trade deals that I need to be aware of? Is anybody plotting my death? And does anybody know that I'm working for that demon? Well, technically, we're not really working together. We have just an agreement, an understanding, okay? I am not gonna die first. That's the main goal. And preferably, uh, we will gain some power along the way. That'll be kind of cool. And also, thank you so much for all the lore. You guys have been sending me a bunch of awesome ones. Here's one story that I love. I put it right over here and have a bunch scattered around. Look at this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go fast, all right? And you just pause it and read it as you want. Here we go. One, a two, a three, a four. And that's pretty much it. My corrupted glitch, thank you so much. And I got a bunch of, I think maybe like six other ones that we used from the last episode. And they're scattered around Mithlin. And also, we named this lovely guy right here. This is Alfred the Assassin. They um, have been an assassin for pretty much years and years and years, for centuries. But you know what? There are a zombie assassin right now. They're going to beat you with that meat. They're going to go pop, 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 pop. That is their weapon of choice. It is very deadly. It's very blunt. It's a blunt instrument. But they get the job done. And I'm never gonna unleash them from there unless something really crazy happens. It's fine. Uh, see you later, Alfred. And yes, look, I can still sleep from here. No, I can't. It's fine. This is just aesthetic beds. Today is going to be an amazing day in Mifflin. I have some plans set in motion to build ourselves right in this spot. Oh, it's red now. That's fine. Uh, to build ourselves a church right in this spot. But it's not going to be just any kind of church. No, no, no. It's going to be a, a special church. A church of the blood sheep, right? There it is. That's our head uh, blood sheep pastor hanging out waiting for the church to be built. That's right. It's okay, blood sheep. Oh, hell, blood sheep. You got to say it. You got to say it loud or else they'll come for you. <laughs> but we're going to get that done in a little while. But first off, we have a guest on the way. Catherine is going to pass by. She says she needs some magical assistance. Lady Catherine. Hello, Sausage of Mithlin. Oh, hello. How are you on this fine magical day? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing so good. I'm in my wizard robes. I couldn't feel any better right now. I feel so magical. Ah. You look magical. Oh. Speaking of magic, um, yes. I had a question for you. Yes. How, how did you acquire such beautiful trees? Oh, man, this is perfect. This is actually magical. I got these actually from the wizard, Gemini Tay. Uh, she gave me these crystals, and I kind of like threw it in the ground, and it kind of just sprouted up overnight like this. So you... You planted some crystals underneath like regular trees and then they just turn into these really cool ones? Yeah, yeah, look, and I got another one over here and it's cool because I did it on different kind of trees because this big one over here, you see, that was an azalea tree and this is <gasps> a dark oak tree. So every time you oh. plant one, they turn into specific ones combined with whatever tree it was originally. Look at this. That is so cool. I love this one. This is it's the greatest magic. I, I learned so much from Jem. Also, watch this. Let me show you. If you ever need to grow any mushrooms, it works on mushrooms too. No way. Look at this. Oh, you see a little poke, a little poke in the poke out. Oh, no, watch out. There's, that's my defense. <laughs> the defenses. Okay, it's fine. Whoa. Yeah. It Wait, works this on mushrooms. is so pretty. Right? How do you do this? Okay, now oh. this is a little different. This was a, okay. it, it was a little trial and error because I'm new to this magician uh, wizard thing. I'm actually a sorcerer, by the way. I'm, I'm another class. You're a sorcerer? Yeah, it's another class of magic. Just uh, do, oh. don't you worry. Yeah, and and but but this is this is what what I did. I combined the actual gem crystal with a magical mushroom from Shelby and it created this one. Shelby has magical mushrooms? Oh yeah, I can give you some too. Come with me, look what she did oh, over here. You have those too? Oh my god. I got gosh. everything. I am the greatest oh, sorcerer. My gosh. Look at this one. Look at this. This one came out of thin air. <gasps> It's blue. This is a blue one. This is a blue oh, one. Oh, this is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Wow. Oh my it, this one, actually, I didn't even plant anything. I got one of Shelby's little blue mushrooms from the nether, threw it in there with a the crystal, and it just sprouted like this. It didn't transform anything. It came from nowhere. Wow. You know what? You're going to love this one. Come with me this way. We have one more to show you. Some more magic. Another one? Yes. And this one is actually my favorite one. You'll see. You'll see what happens. Watch this. Come with me. Follow me down this path. Don't worry about this thing here. 
Um, I don't know if you're uh, ready for this one. Uh, now, nah, don't. I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Don't worry about okay. that one. Look at this one. This was a brown mushroom that turned into this. Whoa! Look at this one. It turned into an orange one. I don't know how, but but it came, it came out like this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I want some of these. So you want this? I got something for you. I actually have my magical wizard box on me. What a coincidence. So what a coincidence. So look at this. I'll help <laughs> you out. I'll help you. I'm going to give you a little magic starter kit right here, <gasps> okay? So take some oh, of magic this. Magic kit? Oh, yeah. Take some of this. How many How many, How many? many gem crystals would you like? How many trees you want to make? Well, I'm currently just trying to transform one. Yeah. Take this. That's a magic mushroom. That's another oh. shroom. That's another oh. one. And I give oh. you five gem crystals for you to play <gasps> with. Let me know if those Whoa. work out. Okay, I, I brought this for you. It's not much, but here, have have a block of emerald and a golden apple. Oh, this will this will do perfectly. I'm actually gonna eat this right now. <laughs> oh, that tastes so good. Tastes like magic. Oh, it's so great. Oh, and if you if you ever need um to go to the next stage of magic, right? You let me mm -hmm. know, and I'll give you a, a one of our blood sheep from uh, the lands of uh, Mithra. A what? A blood sheep. Nothing. It just um, if they kind of. I, I am the mother of sheep. Oh, so, would you like a blood what, sheep? Well, it depends. What um, hmm. uh, what do they do? Uh, just a little bit of warning. Uh, it, it, it summons like this thing called. It, it, it just, it's just called. It's just called dark magic. But it's not in a bad way. Uh, you know, people assume just because it's dark is, is is scary and bad. But no, it's just good dark energy. Okay. Yeah, come with me. You can have some. There's some free ranged. And then uh, some that are, I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping them in one spot just so I can channel all the dark energy in one location. Here, you can have a blood sheep. Take it with you. Enjoy. Come here, blood sheep. Huh. Lady Catherine would like to say hello. There you go. Oh, we're unleashing some. Oh, There's too no, many on no, us. No, no, That's no, fine. No. It's okay. <laughs> I unleash some from time to time. Oh, don't worry about that black one. That one's perfectly safe. But here, you can have a blood sheep. Here, take one. Um, this one. This won't cause any uh, trouble in my lands, will it? No, no, of course not. Of course not. It, it, you just let me know if anything weird happens, but you should be fine. I, you know, I'm entrusting them to you, so I'm passing okay. along the good energy. Don't worry. Ah, I have a new friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a blood sheep, okay? Just, just. Uh, the, the only thing, there's only one catch. Um, whenever you see okay. him, you got to say all yeah. hail blood sheep uh, in order for you to be safe. Uh, so I say that and I'm good. You're good. As long as you say all hail blood ah. sheep. You're good, uh, and you're okay, fine. Okay, I'll help blood sheep. Okay, I love perfect. You. There you go. They're, <laughs> they're, they're beautiful. They're so sweet. Keep them away from women and children. Okay, well, I will take this blood sheep along with all these magical items, and I'll let you know if anything happens. Great, great. Let me know. I would love to know if anything cool happens. I need to see the beauty just pass throughout all of the empires. Please, please, please. Okay. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see what Catherine comes up with over there in her empire with all that gem crystal magic, the blood sheet magic, the Shelby shroom magic. It's going to be so cool. But you know what? I am receiving some ravens letting me know that some people might be approaching me to uh, hire me for my Assassin's Guild skills. So uh, let's get into character. Ooh, and it's getting dark. Okay, uh, let me go get dressed. Hello? Hello? Who's out there? <gasps> the Iron Wolf Tavern Inn. No, this oh. isn't it. Yeah, Sausage? yeah, this is it. This is totally it. It's fine. That's just the code word for it. It's fine. <laughs> Come on in. Smart man you are. Oh, yes. Hello. Welcome to the Assassin's... G I mean, to, to the Tavern Inn. The Iron Tavern Wolf thing. It's fine. It's a code word. This is the Assassin's Guild. Welcome. Come on in. Close the door behind you. Be careful. Okay, okay. Hello, my mythical assassin. That is me. Oh, do, do you have a new contract? I'm itching to get some murder on. Well, first, before we move on to our next contract, we need to go over our previous contract okay. and how you yeah. told the assassination yeah. er, river yeah. that you were going to assassinate them. This is the thing. My, uh, yes, my methods are questionable. Yes, okay, they're a little eccentric, right? But they do get the job done, okay? At the end of the day, did you get the head? Yes! But I was swindled to Totems of Undying from the girl when oh, she already she had one. She swindled... Man, I, I can't control these people. Once I murder them, you know, it's all up to them how they want to live their life, you know? 
<sighs> okay, listen, sausage. If I'm going to hire you again, you cannot okay. tell the other person okay. that I am going to be assassinating them. Okay, f listen, f fine. Th 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 technically, that was my first contract kill. I'm a little, you know, I was a little, I, I didn't know how to do it. You know, I wasn't really prepared for this, but I have learned my lesson. I learned my ways. I think the next one is going to go great. Okay, I have a bit of a highbrow assassination for you. Oh, what is this one? Oh man, it better be good. It's the sea witch. She needs to be destroyed. <laughs> the sea witch. Oh man, that's gonna be yes. that's gonna be a little difficult. She has a lot of axolotls in her army, and she also has Joel to back her up. I'm gonna need a little bit more payment on this one up front. Excuse me. This one's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tough. It's not like a little flower girl in the middle of the woods with nobody to protect her. <laughs> this is a little different. Okay. It's a little bit trickier. A flower girl. <laughs> it's a little different, okay? It's a little difficult. Yeah, I'm going to go into enemy territory, and there's going to be armies waiting for me. So this one's going to well, be a little bit more expensive. Actually, I can make your job a little bit easier. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We are going to be meeting in the desert, Ooh. and we're going to be doing an exchange. Oh, so she won't have her allies with her. It will just be me and her, and you hiding in the shadows oh i'm ready i got some potions i'm ready to go okay all right all right i, I can do yes. this i can do this for you you know um uh, what, what's, the, what's the fee this time what's the payment well you tell me uh okay how about this how about two totems all right two totems okay and um and I, and just one more little little thing to sweeten it up you know well okay how do you want her to die <gasps> Ooh, I get to choose the death. Yeah, if you get you you can choose the death if you throw a little bit of gold on top of that toad. Mmm. It's pain. Ooh. <laughs> throw a little gold in there. You can you can tell me how you want her to meet her doom. That is a what are the options? Okay, we could do we could do just a quick slice, slice, slice. You know? What's on the menu? <laughs> we, okay, we, we could we, I can I can you know chop her up like some sushi. All right. I, okay. I, I can throw an arrow right to her face, flaming like this. All right. Uh, or you know I could chop her with an axe. You know, bang, bang, bang. Okay. Or you know what? I got TNT up here. You know I can use some TNT. No, no explosives because I need her head. Oh no. Okay. No, you can't do it. Okay. I I got many ways. I got potions. Hold on. This is just bothering me right now. This is very. Oh, sorry. <gasps> sorry. No, it's not my fault. I don't, oh, hold on. I got this. Sorry. How dare you? It wasn't me. It was friendly fire. It was friendly fire. It's like Call of Duty. You know, it's not my fault. <laughs> it, this was, it was stuck on the thing. I'm, my fault. That was an accident. Okay, I'll give you a discount. Okay, I'm sorry. F forget the gold. Just the two totems. There you go. I'm sorry. I should okay. touch you in the face. Okay. Two okay. totems it is. You have yourself a deal, but you yes. must never tell her. I won't tell her. I promise. I won't tell her that you pay me to kill her unless you want me to. You know, unless you want me to tell her. That it was no, you. I okay. don't want you don't want her, to. You don't want her to know it was you who killed her? Actually, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't want me yeah. to say the lost empire sent me, you know? <gasps> Ooh, yes. Actually, you know what? I do want her to know. I'll do it in the deepest, darkest voice. The lost empire sent me, witch. And Ooh. I got, yeah. and yes. Pop. Make sure you call her a sea witch. That'll teach her. You sea witch, die! <laughs> Perfect. I got. Okay. I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. I'm I good. love it. I got this. Okay, song. I'll give you one totem now oh, and the other totem after you complete your mission. Okay, that's great. Okay, perfect. So, uh, when is this going down? Okay, I will send for you when I'm ready. Oh, and another thing. I, I need a code location. word. Let me Give me a code word. Once I'm there, once you're talking <sighs> back and forth, I need a good code word to let me loose. Okay, the code word will be... Use the trident. Oh, then, okay. I like it. Oh, well, I, I will see you at the grand event. Oh, I'll see you there. Oh, it's going to be a bloodbath. Oh, man, it's been such a great day so far. I wonder if we're going to get anybody else in here to do any more contract killings. <laughs> this is, oh, man, I'm going to get paid pretty good. Hello there. Welcome to the, uh, the um the Tavern Inn. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Would you I... like a drink? Uh, no, no, thank you. I don't drink. Would you like but... a stay in the inn for the night? It is very scary out there. No, I have some more particular needs that I've come here. Oh. For. Oh, perfect. Okay. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Welcome to the Assassins Guild. How can I help you? Yes. <laughs> That's what I want. Oh yes. Well, you see, what what is your name? Sausage? Oh yeah. Mythical sausage? Oh I yeah. Mean, this, that doesn't sound very assassiny. Yeah, it, it, I don't have an assassin name. I should I should get a good one. 
Yeah, um, you but need one. technically, I'm the king, anyways. You know, this is like my part-time gig here. You know, when I'm not ruling over Mithlin, I I do part-time assassinations and stuff like that. It's no big deal. It's just a lot. It's just a fun thing. How about like epic chorizo? Like oh that. yes, oh chorizo, As asesino chorizo. There you go. I'll be a Spanish assassin. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I've come here looking for your services. You see, I have an enemy that needs taking care of. Oh, I got just the thing. I'm ready to go. Who would you like to meet a murder today? I need you to kill Joey Graceffa. Oh, Joey. Oh man, that. That's a, that's a pretty difficult task there. He is the Lost Empire ruler. Uh, he has a lot of uh, cats that can claw and me totems. to death. And lots of totems. I'm going to have to kill him four or five times, uh, <laughs> depending if he has it, one on each hand, and I'll back up um, behind that one. Hmm. Well, just once should be enough to teach him a lesson. I can pay. I have some oh. dark prismarine oh, yes. and some diamonds. Oh, that, that sounds great to me. Throw it at me. Throw it at me right now. We'll start this contract right away. Oh, wow. Oh, oh this is perfect. Oh, yes. It's going to go great. Oh, we, I have builds to build still. I'm still the ruler of this place. I still got uh, roofs to make. Yeah, this is good. Where do I sign? Oh, um, I got this. Um, actually, here. Uh, he, he, get the, one of these uh, diamonds right there, and just put um, just put Joey's name on it right there in the anvil behind you, and, and that'll be it. Got it. This is it. All right, perfect. Contract signed. When would you like this death to occur? Ah, uh, I have a very specific time frame I'd like you to fulfill my request. You see, Joey and I are making an exchange Ooh. of a few hostages. Oh. I would like you to kill him right after the exchange has been completed. Oh, that sounds perfect. Give me. Do you have a code word? Maybe you could scream out, and then I could just attack at that point. Oh, good idea. How yes. about how about uh, uh, something covert that won't arouse suspicion, like uh, uh, yeah. the crows asunder. Oh, that's a good one. That you know he would never think um, he's gonna die right after that. Okay, that exactly. is perfect. Now, he'll do you... be so confused about what that even means yeah. that he'll just be panicking about that. To be honest, I don't even know what it means. But uh, do you want him to know it's from you? Would you like to say uh, Quinn Lizzie sends their regards or anything of uh, that nature? Oh, I think he'll know. You know, okay, all right, that sounds good to me. You know, and, and is there any specific way you want him to die? Would you like, you know, a, a crossbow or a bow to the face, a swipe by my sword, an axe to the noggin? What would you? Anything well, specific? Well, a dealer's choice, I think. Yeah, I, I also would, got just love to watch. I also got TNT. You know, if whatever you want, you know, I got an yeah. arsenal of death. Um, you know, maybe it's just a traditional axe. Axe to the face. Okay, perfect. Axe okay. To the face. Yes, yeah. yeah, great. Okay. Oh, this is great. Great deal. All right, let me know if you ever need anybody else to be murdered. This is the place to go. All right. They they, they, All right, oh, thank you perfect. so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 Yay, death. Well, well, well. It looks like we have ourselves a problem here. But it's a fun problem to have. I guess I'm going to kill two people in one session. Uh, it's awesome being an assassin. <laughs> Shadow Lady. Do you have the hostage? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. First, I want to make a couple things clear. I think we both should be, you know, naked for this situation. Ah, I've preemptively made myself naked already. <clears throat> okay, I put Strawberry into the minecart. Now, how are we going to do this exchange? On the well, count of three? On the count of three? Press your lever, and the hostages will be exchanged. Okay, Lizzie, no funny business, or else you might suffer the consequences. Of course not, Joey. Okay. You sounded a little ominous with that, Joey. Oh, so. That's just how I sound, Joey. Okay, you ready? Uh, I think so. I'm nervous now. Okay. Uh, on the one, count of three. One, two, two three. Three. Okay, oh, perfect. Strawberry. Use the trident! Oh, crows as asunder! Wait. Yo! Oh, no! Teach her a lesson she'll never forget! Give me that head of hers. Where's her head? Sausage? 
I got her head, Pres but I'm sorry, but um, I was also contracted to kill you. Is the most <gasps> no! <laughs> 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 oh, what a sausage! Sorry about that. I was paid. What is happening here? I was paid. I'm sorry about this. Uh, you will both suffer you. for the sins you've committed. Um, both of you paid me actually to kill each other. Um, so uh, you're welcome. Mission um, accomplished. Yeah, that that's a little what? awkward. Yeah, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, you kind of uh, both paid me. Um, so. <laughs> what? Thank you so that's much. That's terrible customer service from you. You can have a head though. <gasps> oh. And okay. Yeah, you can have his head. At least that's oh. a payment. Um, uh, as I'm, I'm sorry, but you're welcome. Well. Uh, <laughs> Seems like great minds think alike, Lizzie. Yes, indeed. I guess we both got what we wanted from this exchange. I guess we did. Um, well, this so is maybe, awkward now. Maybe <laughs> we can call it a truce? <sighs> yes, I mean, I've gotten my prince, you've gotten your axolotl. I've gotten your head, you've gotten mine. I don't see why there needs to be any animosity anymore. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much, Assassin Sausage, for You're bringing welcome. us together. Oh, there you go. Oh. Thank you for using the Assassin skill. I'm also a therapist. Thank you and goodbye. Who would have thought being an Assassin was so much fun and also so helpful to people's relationships? It's been a great time here. Hopefully more people contract me to do some more um, social work with their relationships and stuff like that. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Or either way, you know what? It's been fun. Just chopping people's heads off. It's great. It's a good time. <laughs> Looks like House Blossom has summoned me and wanted to let me know that their magic might have worked. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Let's head on down and see what she got. Now, where is Catherine? Oh, there you are. Sausage. Is this it? Look, the gem crystals work. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. This is glorious. Oh, <laughs> yes, y'all know this is a beautiful tree house. This is so nice. I love the mushrooms. These are perfect. It's so cool. Oh, speaking of mushrooms, look at this giant one that grew. For, I planted Shelby's mushroom. Oh, Shelby's mushrooms are nice. Man, it, it looks different than from my side. This is beautiful. Look at these little pastel colors. Yeah, it's, it's nice. a little different, but it's cool. There's one over here. Oh. I put one over here that grew. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. And then if you come over by my castle, there's a blue one. Isn't that so cool? Oh, it's so cool. It's like depending on where you're at, it's going to spawn a different one like that. This is so cool. It's so magic. Yeah. We're, you're technically a wizard now. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have some powers, okay? It's not only me and Jim and Shelby. There's definitely Shelby. some magical vibes. Yeah, you're, say that. you're taking over, okay? Just be careful. Don't do too much of it because sometimes this consumes you. Your whole soul gets stuck in the in the <laughs> shadow realm. Be careful. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I've been overdoing a little bit and I've been feeling some of the effects. But it's fine. This is great. Just don't overdo it. But this is beautiful. When I went up inside of this tree house, uh, something magical happened, and I, I was wondering, what do you think would happen if we brought some villagers up there? Oh, um, I haven't really mixed the villagers with the magic yet. I haven't even tried that. Uh, everything has really? been just um, organic stuff, but I don't know. It's worth a shot. You can see what happens. I I've got some villagers around my portal. We could kind of uh, yeah. force them up there to see what happens. You know what? I love experimenting. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, mutant villagers. Let's do it. We got them in here, but they haven't done anything magical yet. Um, what if we put some beds down? Yup. I think beds will work. They'll get excited. They will want to make the babies and maybe that'll <laughs> uh, teleport them into another realm. I don't know. Let's give them some flowers and, and some bread and I guess we'll just see what happens. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's just wait right here. I have a feeling yeah. this is definitely going to work. <gasps> oh! We Sausage. did it! Wow! The, oh, the, they turned a into fairies! Baby! It's a fairy oh, baby. baby! What? Oh, oh my god. This is beautiful. The, the, this tree is so magical. What kind of magic is this? This is fantastic. Look at the little wings. Those gem crystals are nuts. I can't believe this. We should tell Gem what's going on. This is actually way better than what's happening in other realms with demons and stuff. <laughs> We're this spawning is, this fairies. This is our first... I don't know if this is uh, I don't know if this is ethical, but this was like our first human experiment. <laughs> yeah, actually, you you're you're right. I can't believe you're but, the first but one it who started worked. it. It turned into something amazing. <laughs> yeah, imagine now if we do this like in the Nether or something or some evil dimension, what will we get? No, oh, I, I don't want I don't want to know. No, no don't worry, we won't do that. Oh we won't hi! Do that. But this oh, is so nice. So <laughs> oh, this is so you're cool. So Look cute. How cute! Oh wow! Oh, they have little fairy wings too. Oh, this is so good. Oh, you know what? <laughs> This is this is this is the best day. This is so good. Oh, 
so peaceful. Isn't it? We have demons on the server. We have people dying left and right over assassinations. But here in House Blossom, we get fair. Yeah, what now? Wait, what? 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 Ha what's happening? Oh, there's a demon. Oh, you haven't heard about right. the demon yet. Right. Okay. Um. Uh. Yep. Okay. Bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, where have you been keeping my lovely blood sheep I gave you last time? Oh, I brought my new friend in my castle. I, I was a little uh, a little cautious. I didn't want to put it in the pen with my other sheep. So, oh, no. he's just kind of hanging out in my house. You know, yeah. he's my new friend. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, you never what want to keep this? the blood sheep with other sheep. So, Wait, what is that? What is this? Oh, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Yeah, yeah, this is the demon what? I told you about. This is the corruption. No! <gasps> oh, yeah. <gasps> it went in your house. What is this? This wasn't is the this... blood sheep. This wasn't the blood sheep. It sure looks like it was. The it blood was sheep. not the blood. The blood sheep doesn't do this. This is the I... um. This is the demon. This is the demon I've been talking about. He's visited sure you. Is, is not because I said all oh, hail blood sheep. He should be nice to me. This no, this... he's nice. Trust me. That you're lucky. You've been saying that he would have eaten you alive. But no, this is the demon. This is uh, Zornoff, I believe their name is. I can't really say their name out loud because it's kind of bad. Um, yeah, we have a demon. Well, this I... is it. How do I, can I, can I remove it? Yeah, yeah, you can remove it, uh, but uh, some say that if you remove it, the demon might visit you later, um, but either that or you just live with it, you know? Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you can really, you can, you can remove it, that's fine, go ahead, go ahead, it's fine. But, but then the, but then the demon's gonna come. Okay, either, well, technically the demon was already here, um. Yeah, technically, so, I guess, if this is the demon and not the blood sheep, then yeah, yeah he's here. I think you'll be fine, you'll be, you'll be fine, I'll let the demon know, me and the demon are kind of cool right now, I, I can let him know, please, don't bother how, how it's Blossom, okay, don't bother, bother Lady Catherine, I'll let the demon know, I'll put a good word in for you, don't worry. Okay, thank you. Yeah, don't worry, just, uh, you can remove it, and I'll let the demon know, just... Chill out. What if I saved it? I could <gasps> save the corruption and put it in a nice little gift box for him. Actually, yes, do that. Save it, okay? And um, maybe he would think it was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it, put it in a safe space. <laughs> put it in a nice little containment field. You know, a spot. Uh, <gasps> yeah. To, to store the dark energy. I think that'll probably be the best thing. Yep, I'll make a dark energy box. Yep, dark energy box, and the blood sheep will protect you. Don't you worry. Just keep saying, I'll hail blood sheep. <laughs> You'll be just fine. And be careful when it's nighttime. And, oh, uh -huh. another thing of warning. If you, yeah. if it starts thundering and lightning and raining really hard, um, uh -huh. just hide. Oh. Guess what? It is time for the Church of the Blood Sheep to rise here in Mifflin. And I just can't wait. Oh, let me turn around. Oh, here we go. Right in this spot. Are you ready, my friend? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Let's build up the Church of the Blood Sheep. Just like that, about seven hours later, the Church of the Blood Sheep is ready uh, to be shown off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a closer look and all hail Blood Sheep. Look at this cool little path here with the trees going all the way up. And there it is, the Church of the Blood Sheep. <laughs> so cool. I still haven't done much on the tower and the top 
level section. We'll get to that soon, but the interior for the main hall is done. It is looking awesome. We got a nice little path that goes all the way down here. Some mossiness. I want to add also some vines and some lichen. I'll get to that. And I'll get some details going. Even more detail. Come on, there's a lot of detail, but I'll get even more detail in a little bit. But it's looking pretty cool. What do you guys think of the color palette? It's looking awesome, right? I love that. And then in the top, we have some of that lovely old deep slate. The darker tile version one is so good with some of that spruce. <laughs> it's looking awesome. The tower right there. And then we got ways in from either side, this side or the other side. I like this one. We get a nice little waterway area. I want to add a little docking spot so the dolphins can just jump into the church of the blood sheep whenever they want. But I'll set that up. I'll do like a nice little docking area right here coming up soon. But let's go on in. Bam! And there it is. Check out the interior. We have a little bit of corruption, but it's a good kind of corruption. It's blood sheep corruption. That's right. That's my friends. They're hanging there. Uh, just, you know, just to, to hang out. You know, I don't want it to get lost or anything. Uh, no sacrifices yet in here. We got another one on this side. Look at that lovely area rug right here. Uh, it's a lovely one, right? <laughs> we also got some carpet there and a little bit of the red powdered concrete and more blood sheep all the way around we got nice little corners here the uh the, the stained glass right looking pretty good i'm not going to show you what's back there i'll show you that in the next episode there's something in the back there don't you worry but look at the details i was able to pack in the ceiling i love it the ceiling details the cross beamage whenever i do any kind of church i want to make sure we got some detailed cross beams and that right there i don't think i can get any more detail than this but this is pretty cool right we got some hanging lights over here hanging chains as well seating all the way down on this side and on the other side right here this is for the uh the vips in the front the peasants get the back ain't that right blood sheep that's right uh and then up here we got the blood altar i mean the the altar the regular altar uh that we can do any kind of stuff you know we can do any kind of yeah i don't know we could do, do some sermons or whatever you want to do totally nothing bad happens here but there's a cool little blood church right uh, but also in the back we could do some baptisms right here this is some blood sheep baptisms and today i'm gonna be doing our first baptism in here that's right check this out so now that the blood sheep church is ready and operational i can tell the magic is just oozing throughout this build and right here in the center we're gonna be doing something very special. I'm gonna be throwing in Mythbane, my netherite pickaxe that I didn't name, that's fine. We're gonna be throwing in the ax and the shovel and the bow, Artemis, we're throwing all of them in here. And I have a feeling that with a little bit of gem crystal magic mixing with the blood sheep magic, we can get something very, very special. So let's throw Mythbane in first with the gem crystal. That didn't go in. That's gonna be go in the middle, bam! We're also throwing in our netherite pickaxe gem crystal our axe gem crystal a shovel another gem crystal and our bow artemis and another gem crystal oh <laughs> yes this is going into the dark dimension but you know what it's gonna come out even cooler <laughs> let's just wait right here and i have a feeling we're gonna get something very special now i'm wondering is this gonna take a long time because sometimes whenever i plant those gem crystals those take forever maybe a day or two and then i get some custom trees or mushrooms but i don't know i have a feeling that the blood sheep magic is just a little bit more powerful specifically because it's from mifflin right so maybe if we look back oh <gasps> it, it, it worked it worked already it worked oh my oh <laughs> what Oh my! Oh hail blood sheep! Look at this beautiful long sword! Oh, 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 oh. yes! Oh, this is glorious! The power of the blood sheep! This is fantastic! I didn't even have to do a sacrifice or nothing! Let's look at the next one! Oh baby! Look at this bow! Fantastic! All oh, people are gonna be so dead! Oh, that's so good! Let's see the next one! Oh my, look at this pickaxe! The shovel! Oh, that's so nice! It's full of blood! Or or maybe something else? I don't know, that's cool! Bloody uh <laughs> it's not blood, it's just red. It's just you know, it's just the it's just the power, the color. It's like the red lightsaber from the Jedi or the Sith. What the, the, the red is specifically for the Sith? You know, that's fine. We're good people. And then last but not least, let me see it. This might be my favorite one. Look at the axe! 
is kinda, ha it almost has like a little hammer on the other side. Oh my god, this is like Stormbreaker. <laughs> oh, oh man, I have the power of Thor next to me. This is fantastic. Oh, I better get out of that blood uh, baptismal uh, circle. Oh, this is so good. Is that glowing? My axe is glowing. Oh, and it looks so good right there. Look at that. Oh, so awesome. Look at the axe. Look at the bow. Woo! Oh, hell, blood sheep. But the sword, though. Look at that. It has like almost like blood sheep particles <laughs> on the side. Oh, blood sheep. Thank you so much. Building this church was a great idea. And it's just the beginning. Oh, yes. This is such a great day. But oh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today here in Myth. And we had an awesome adventure today. And I can't wait to see what's going to come up next. Oh, look at this sword. This is ridiculous. It's so amazing. Oh, baby. We can hit people from two blocks away. Maybe even three. <laughs> Oh, best day ever. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all on the next episode from Empire's SMP. Look at this sword. Rated one out of ten blood sheeps. <laughs> oh, hell, blood sheep.